Okay, someone has to talk about this. It's 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 getting out of hand. These climate bros out there, they gotta stop. Bro, I get it. The climate's dying. I get it. Animals are suffering. I get that you want to help. You're coming at it from a good perspective. But gluing your hand to the road ain't gonna change shit. I have to get to work, cunt. Like, that's martial arts 101. You never leave yourself undefended. I could... <coughs> I mean, someone could get out of their car, walk up to you slowly, say hi, ask you to move, and then fucking kick your head in, cunt! Like, bro, I'm of the belief now that these climate bros are doing this to get bitches. To get climate clout. Look, I'm blowing my hair to the road to stop oil! Look, I'm throwing soup at a painting! Look, I didn't shave my pubes for the last few months to save on razor blades! Bro, that's nasty! Shave that shit off! You aren't the Zohan! Like, mate, you do realize that all these cars are currently burning fuel to stand here because your hand is glued to the floor. Your virtue signaling isn't gonna get you those 3 out of 10 climate change tree hugging bitches. And it sure as hell isn't gonna make us stop eating meat or driving cars. I love oil. Olive oil, amazing. Coconut oil, ooh. Sesame, oh, you know I'm sure as hell gonna be cooking some fried rice with that shit. You're not gonna stop me and my oil. No, no, no. You can cook your kale and broccoli without oil. Me, I'm grilling my steak on the pan like a man. Also, these climate bros are going vegan for these hoes. Bruh. You need protein to be buff, dude. She doesn't want to date a skeleton. You want to look like Ziz or have no riz? Anyway, let's talk about when I realized that this was frustrating me. I literally just got back from Japan and I had some Wendy's first kitchen. Now I know, I know, this cunt goes to Japan to eat an American hamburger. What a loser. But that shit is good. Might I say it was better than the Konbini sushi wrapped in plastic. Does that trigger you? Does that trigger you climate bro? Climate sis? So when I got handed my plastic cup for my Pepsi and I pushed that straw out of that paper, mm, I was not expecting an OG plastic straw. Now can I just say there is nothing on this planet earth I hate more than paper straws. Like, yes, I get it. The turtles. They're choking in the ocean. But I don't see no turtles. I'm not living in the ocean. And like, look at these things. They can't even move if you put them on a pole on their stomach. This is survival of the fittest. If they think a floating plastic bag is a jellyfish, that's skill diff. But anyway, for anyone who's never been to Japan, there are no bins to be found anywhere and the Japanese take their recycling very seriously. I accidentally put a wooden popsicle stick for those strawberry lollies in the wrong bin, and this Japanese dude jumped out like a ninja and was like, no, 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 long, long trash can. So I had to put my hand through the old cans and it was yucky, but I get it. Reuse, recycle, and that type of thing. Also, when you find a bin in Japan, there's like 15 bins for recycling. Let's say you drink a water bottle. You got one bin for the cap, one bin for the plastic thing that you crack in between, that twisty thing that locks the cap, one thing for the plastic advertising paper around the bottle, one for the bottle. It's fucking crazy out here. The garbage police be hitting you with fines if you're putting your shit in the wrong bin, and yet they still have plastic straws. So why the fuck do I have to drink my Slurpee back in Australia with a paper straw? One minute in, it already disintegrates like a fucking Thanos snap and I'm having to guzzle that slurpy down strawless. All because of you climate bros. And do you guys remember that dude that orange bombed himself at the snooker tournament last year? Like who the fuck do you think you are, cunt? How is that gonna make us care about the climate? Honestly, fuck the climate. All my homies love global warming. You wanna make change? Educate people. Tell your mates to use metal straws. Tell your mates to buy water-powered cars and make their own electricity with bike pedals or something. I don't know. Like, one of my favorite stories recently were those dickheads that chained themselves to the duck slaughterhouse in America and then young Pedro went and turned the machine on and started slicing them motherfuckers. You really think that's gonna stop me from eating Peking duck from Uncle Chen? That shit's delicious, nutritious, and most importantly, seditious. When I eat Peking duck, it makes my duck peak, okay? And we have to talk about these idiots in the UK last year that went around pouring milk on the floor. Firstly, wasted calories. You can make a milkshake with that. You can make ice cream. You can make cereal and milk. That poor cow was milked and milked until its udders looked like they needed a break. And guess what? They milked that heifer some more. And honestly, like, look at this guy. He's virtue signaling his style. He thinks he's better than us just because cows have human feelings and shit, which they don't. The only way, and I mean the only way that these activists would get me is if the baddies in the group sold us some of their breast milk instead. Please! Let's give us some real alternative. I ain't drinking these fake milks that are actually a nut and some spring 
sprinkled water. That shit's chat as fuck. But speaking of titties, when I was searching for these protests, I found out about these absolute baddies in Italy that poured oil on themselves topless. I'm not gonna lie. I would turn my car off in traffic to watch that. But guys, seriously, I know it's hard to get a girlfriend nowadays, but don't become a climate cuck. You want a girl to talk to you? Talk to your mum. Don't have a mum? Talk to an NPC on a game or something. You got this. The last thing I want is my bros to stop eating meat, driving cars, and using electricity. Like, bro, I'm not gonna drive you everywhere and pay for fuel. That shit's expensive as fuck nowadays. And I want you to hop on CS to dome some cunts. How are we gonna do that if you don't use electricity? You Amish? Are you a monk? I remember you being all normal about life and then that 2 out of 10 forest goblin made you insane, bro. Look, global cooling, global warming, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, I'm just a regular average Joe Schmo. And I am just sick and tired of losing my friends to these hippie girls that don't shave their armpits. And don't use deodorant too because that shit hits up the earth. I don't know, I heard that shit at the smokers at some dirty club recently from a chick. I just wish we could all, you know, get along and be nice to each other. Shit makes no sense nowadays. Anyways, subscribe if you beat your meat before you season it, cook it, and eat it. Oh, and if you like taking it up the 